Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. If you want to know how to make your very own triangle bikini top, then this video is for you. This is personally how I make my tops. I'm not a professional in any way, shape or form, but if you're curious or want to learn, stay tuned. For today's video, I will be using this nylon spandex blend fabric. It's perfect for swimwear. It's the only fabric I've ever actually used to create my swimwear products and I definitely highly recommend. It comes in so many different colors and patterns, but today we will be using this nice dark gray. I will also be using this chlorine resistant braided elastic. I prefer to use this measurement, the one quarter in width. You can also use a rubber elastic that I've never actually tried using for swimwear, but if you want to use that, then go right ahead. I'm a little rusty on making bikini tops. It's been about a year since I've made them last. So I thought, let me just record me making it and I'll probably see how it turns out and I can just adjust the bikini pattern as I see fit for the next one. If you wanna know how I drafted it, then just please let me know below in the comments and I'll try to make a video on how I did so. I just used my measurements and also compared it to a previous bikini top that I already had that fit kind of small, so I just added some extra inches. So now I'm just gonna cut out four mirrored pieces. Sometimes I use a rotary cutter and just cut out the pieces directly, and other times, like you see here, I'll just trace it out and use my fabric scissors. Whatever way works for you. As you can see, I cut out two pieces. Now I'm flipping it over to make sure it goes on the opposite side. So when you're done and you put the right sides together, you have two sets of triangles. So now for the straps, you can make them as long as you want. I usually like them to be longer just in case I wanna tie it different ways, it's easier. But also depending on the width of the elastic you're gonna use, this will depend on how wide you want to cut your straps. So I'm cutting it 1.5 inches in width. I like to cut it out a little bit wider just so I can adjust it as needed. You're going to need two straps for the top and you need to cut out one long strap. So to begin, I'm just going to take the right sides together. And as you can see where I'm pointing is where you're going to sew. So you're gonna sew down the two sides and the bottom and you're gonna leave that top front open and those two little sides open. You're gonna leave that top hole open for the straps and also the bottom for the strap channel. As for the elastic, you're only gonna place it on the two sides as you can see there and not at the bottom. You're gonna fold over the straps right sides together and pin all the way down. Now listen, sometimes I like to just go over the sewing machine in a zigzag stitch all the way around where you're supposed to sew and then add the elastic after but then there's sometimes I just do that step all in one. I'll sew with the elastic all in one. I don't know which way is better, but honestly it depends on my mood. Clearly here I had the time. So I just went around with the zigzag stitch all around first and then went over with the elastic. Either way, my bikini top stayed intact when I was on my last vacation <laughs> and that is all that matters to me. I usually don't do much when I'm wearing a bikini in the first place. I'm quite boring and just probably will be laying out catching some sun. So yeah. So I just went over the elastic with a zigzag stitch again. And again, only on the two sides, not the bottom. Thank you. 
Same thing like the top. I personally just went all the way down with a zigzag stitch and then went over with the elastic. One rule of thumb that I try to keep in mind when trying to work out the width of your straps is to make sure that your strap width is just double the width of the elastic you're using. I'm always asked why I add elastic in the first place. And from what I know, it's just to help keep your garment in its original shape. And I've also noticed for especially the straps, for the straps, it makes it so much stronger. When you pull at it, you don't hear all the threads popping. Before I turn the straps inside out, I just like to cut off the excess fabric on the edge. Now to turn them inside out, I personally like to use the bobby pin method. So I make a little nick with my scissors like you can see there, or you can use a loop turner, but it's all up to you. So take your bobby pin and if you just pay attention to the video, I'm going to take the first half of that slit and put it in between the bobby pin and then take the rest of the bobby pin and just slide that whole thing into the strap. I don't know if that made sense, but hopefully it makes sense in the video. And take your time with this part. It can be quite time consuming, but you just slide that bobby pin through bit by bit. And as you go through, you just pull the other side out and just make sure to take your time that you're not ripping any of the threads or ripping the fabric. And you'll do this for each of the straps. I don't know why I prefer to use a bobby pin. I feel like it's just easier for me, but again, you can also use a loop turner. I also use the bobby pin method for other straps, not just for swimwear. It's such a great hack. I don't know why again, but I love it. So now you've got two straps for the top of the triangle, and then you've got that one long strap for the, I don't know, waist, if you will, or the bottom of the triangle part. So another fun tool that I like to use is this little bodkin that I got from Amazon. This just helps slide the straps where you want it to go. So you just clip it at the edge right there. You can also use a safety pin to achieve the same thing. And then through that little bottom hole you left open, I'm gonna just slide that strap triangle where you will then pin in place. If you find that the strap is too small for the hole you left, sometimes it's easier to just go over and just kind of make that triangle a little smaller at the top, just so that that strap fits nice and snug. Again, you will just close up that hole with a zigzag stitch and just cut off the excess fabric. Using the other side of the strap that's kind of still hanging out from that hole, you can just pull your triangle out and just kind of fix it as long as you go. Once you turn it out, I kind of just tuck that little corner edges in or sometimes I find it easier to leave it out and then sew a channel using a straight stitch. And you're just going to sew one straight stitch down, creating a channel for your strap. And once you've made that nice little straight stitch, you'll take that little bodkin tool or whatever you have, a safety pin, just to slide that strap through that bottom channel. I find if you create that little channel more snug, it will be easier to create that ruched effect. You wanna make that channel tight enough that you can get the strap through, but not too loose, because you kind of wanna scrunch it together and make it actually stay, if that makes sense. Now you can decide how you wanna finish off the straps. I usually just tie a knot or if you wanna make it more fancy, which I think I might wanna do, you can find on Etsy and other places little gold hardware pieces or silver hardware pieces that you can attach at the ends of the strap, like little cord ends. But yeah, this is the final result. I mean, it's not perfect. This is the first bikini top I made in about a year. So I'll definitely make a few more in different colors. Listen, I just can't wait to be on a beach wearing this top. I'll definitely make a video of how I'll make matching bottoms. 
but how cute would it be with these pants that I made, which I will show in another video coming up. But again, thank you guys for watching. As always, I appreciate everything and all the kind comments that I've been receiving on my videos. I promise I won't take so long to be posting videos again. That's my bad. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and comment. And thank you all to have already subscribed. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.